evening, yogins. Welcome to Play Along Practice. This is Amanda Shepherd, and I'm happy to be playing with you. Um, if you enjoy this channel and want to keep up to date, please subscribe. There are other ways to support in the description, and please check the description to see like where we go in the practice, because I tend to let them kind of grow organically. Um, all right, let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna start in double pigeon today. So, um, right ankle over the left knee, feet are flexed. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can do Sukhasana, um, easy pose. Sing up nice and tall. So you can lift your hip point off the thighs. So you have a nice little bit of space, even though you're in flexion. And keep reaching that inner right knee away. You really want this foot hanging over the side. the breath become nice and easy. And next to the reach up right arm up and around. And reach the left arm across, finding a twist. I might even use my hand to get a little more external rotation. Go over the right shoulder, go over the left shoulder. I'm gonna reach that round, reaching that left arm out to the side, right arm up to sky. Nice lateral stretch. Really see if you can keep your right arm straight and find that side body. And then as I exhale, I'm gonna take a twist, bringing that right hand down and maybe even bring the forearm down. And leaning back with my left shoulder blade as I lengthen the sternum. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, come on back through center, interlace the fingers behind you. You can use a strap if it's hard to straighten your elbow. And as I exhale, I'm gonna bring the right elbow under the left, dropping the shoulders down and reaching those pinkies away. Garudasana arms. Coming forward any amount. Try not to overly round the shoulders, right? You really wanna extend the spine here to neutral. Inhale, reach the crown of the head forward and up. And as I exhale, I'm just gonna find Yogi Toa and switch it to the other side. So like a wide angle Navasana. Reconnecting to your breath, let it become nice and easy. If it's not, see if instead of pitching forward, you can sit tall. Double pigeon, Sukhasana if this doesn't work for your hips. Inhale, reach that left arm up and around and behind you. Reach the right hand across. Look over the left shoulder. Go over the right shoulder. I'm gonna wind, uh, unwind, reach that right arm out to the side and see if I can reach that left arm up and over. Nice lateral stretch, feels awesome here. And you know what, I'm not crunching this side. I'm letting it stay long, okay. So you exhale, I'm gonna take it to a twist, maybe bring that forearm to the floor. Notice the arc of the foot is on my tricep. Imagine you're stepping on that arm. And lean back to your right shoulder plate. Try to uh, lengthen the front of the torso. Inhale, reach that left arm up and around. Interlace the fingers behind you, non-dominant hand on top. Here. Guard off in the arms, left arm under right. And bring it forward. Good. Inhale, reach the crown of the head forward and up. And as you exhale, you can find a wide angle 
single forward fold and then I'm going to keep the um, left leg in my hand and reach that right leg long and just open this leg out to the side and I'm going to find kind of a supine Parasana or Parasana variation um, drawing that right shoulder blade in reaching that left arm up and over maybe checking out the stars trying to lengthen all four sides of your waist and really open that heart to sky as I exhale I'm going to take it around and just draw it across for Ardha Matsu and Drasen. left arm behind me right arm's going to pull that knee into the chest sitting up tall stretch. Yogi toe lock this time. Just Navasana lifting up any variation. Draw your low back in and up. Breathing here. I'm going to reach the left leg long. Draw that right knee out to the side. Open it up. I might reestablish my sits bones on the floor, especially that left one. And take a twist and maybe come on down. Draw that right shoulder blade over the left thigh. Keep the right knee reaching to the sky. Make sure your head's not bopping into your arm or to your uh, leg. Come on up. I'm Matsu and Drasen. Right arm behind you. Left arm's going to pull that knee into the chest or any arm variation that you might prefer. Absolutely gorgeous day here in Southern California, and I had a client who asked to move their class, so I got a little extra beach time. Then after I came home, I've been rearranging my son's bedroom. It's been kind of a toy garage lately, so we're trying to clear stuff out. I'm a dusty mess from that. Uh, find a couple cat cubs face in the front of your mat, finding all fours, keep the arms straight, move in any way that feels good for you, whatever you need to roll up your spine, right? And come through center, tuck the toes, lift those hips up and back, downward facing dog. First one of the day, for me too, shaking your head out. Belly to spine, shoulders over the wrists. Roll onto the outside edge of that right foot and step that left foot to the right in front of your belly button. Maybe see what it feels like to lift and then see what it feels like to lengthen all four sides of the waist. So just notice the difference. Right, what feels better to you? Bring that left arm down, reach it back. Chakram and Dandasana all the way to the earth. Finding a sphinx pose. Lift your belly up. Draw your little back in, or long. Mm. Make sure you can feel the pinky, top of the pinky toe on the mat. If it's hard for you to do that with the legs closer together, you can reach them wider or bring them closer. Do whatever works for your body. Elbows up, lengthen down. The pillow for your forehead when you tuck your toes and just reach that tailbone long. Reach the toes away. And lift it. Inhale, let your feet come back distance. Exhale, hip distance. A couple more times. Inhale, spread. Exhale, hip distance. And then bring that down. Cobra or forward bone mukha svanasana. Exhale, adho mukha svanasana. Go to spine, outside edge of that left foot, step that right foot in front of your belly button. And figure out where you want to be, right? What kind of variation do you want? Bring that right hand down. Through Vinyasa all the way to the floor. I'm going to reach the right arm out to the right, left arm to your lever. Roll onto that right side body. Back through center. Take it the other way. One 
back to your center. Hands by your lower ribs. Bhujangasana or Word by Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Let your feet come a little bit wide, maybe as wide as your mat. You can walk them in slightly. Reach underneath, find a twist. Move underneath your left arm. Easier to find the thigh. If you can grab the back of the heel of the ankle, do that. Keep all four sides of your waist long. Take it back to your center and bring it the other way. Back to your center, bring your feet back hip distance. Belly is fine, shoulders over the wrist, come way forward. Exhale back. Inhale. Way forward, exhale back. Inhale, way forward. Exhale back. And this time when you come down, bring the shins to the floor. Walk your hands out for a praying puppy. Wrap your triceps down, knees right underneath the hips, scoop your belly. Forehead, tip of the nose for most of you, chest and chin. All right, check your alignment. Make sure if you're forward or back, you can feel that out. If you like to come to fingertips, go ahead. If you exhale, keep your forearms on the floor. You're going to bring your right forearm in. Come onto the outside edge of that right foot. Maybe bring the left foot in front of the right. Maybe bring the foot down. Maybe stack forearm plank. See if you can, um, side plank. See if you can draw the left hip forward. Push that left arm overhead. Exhale, dolphin pose. Walk your feet in. Chest towards the thigh. Maybe you lock your feet in a little bit more. And walk it back out. Bring that left forearm in. Whatever variation you did on the first side, do it on the second. Right arm reaches up, overhead. Exhale, forearm plank, sphinx. Keep lifting the belly, lift your low back, come on up. Pull back with your palms so you can spread those inner shoulders wider, lengthen the front of the body. And exhale, come on down. Shalambhasana, breathing here. And as you exhale, Cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Move any way that feels good. <coughs> Put that right leg back, turn the toes out, bend the knee, a couple hip circles. Open that leg out to the side, check out your toes, and then as you exhale, step that foot way up to the outside. Come on to your fingertips and straighten that leg, maybe point the toes to the sky, front of the body's long, and then as you exhale, Uttana Prastasana, Lizard Pose, any variation you like. For now, keep that left leg lifted, and try to keep the front of the body long. Bring that left knee down, reach around with your right arm, Take that foot into the hand. Then as you exhale, take the hand to the top of the foot and open those quadriceps. Moving your hand. Gently release. Through your vinyasa. Exhale, down dog. Left leg reaches back, turn the toes out, bend the knee, couple hip circles. Open that leg out to the side, check out your toe. As you exhale, you're going to step that foot to the outside. Come onto your fingertips. Straighten that left leg, point the toes to sky. And then breathe in the knee, find your Uttana Prastasana, any variation. For a few breaths, keep the 
right leg lifted, really hug the leg muscles to the bone. If you can feel your kneecap lift towards your hip. Bring that right knee down. Reach around. Nice heart opening here. Hand to the top of the foot, finding those quadriceps. Breathing here. And as you exhale, bring the forearms back to the floor if that's you. Extend the back forearm plane and walk your feet in one more time for dolphin pose. Chest towards the thighs. Maybe lift the right leg, see what that feels like. Bring that foot down. Lift the left leg, see what that feels like. Bring that foot down. And then walk it back into a forearm plank. The palms are together, let them come uh, shoulder distance. Sinks pose, breathing here. Nice deep inhale. Maybe lift the, push your hands down, lengthen the front of the body. And as you exhale, come on down, reach back. Shalambasan, or if you're interested, Dhanurasana. Take those feet into the hands, open the heart. Breathing here. Big toes to touch, leading with the left leg. Roll onto that right inner shoulder. Draw the shoulders towards the top of the head and vice versa. Back to center. Kick it up. Take it to the other side, leading with the right leg. Back to center. Five more breaths. Heels towards the outer hips. Gently let go. Ordva Mukha Shanasana. Exhale, Adha Mukha Shanasana. Bring the forearms down. It's interesting. Reach that right leg up. Come onto the tippy toe of that left foot. And maybe lift. Pinch your Mayarasana. Drop your head. Try to take the back bend out by drawing your low ribs together. And as you exhale, bring it down. Maybe take a child's pose. Right arm under left. Stack the left arm on top and wrap your triceps down. Walk your hands to the left. Push the floor away with the left hand. Pull with the right. Lateral stretch. Back to center. Walk the hand over to the right. Push the floor away with the right hand. Pull with the left. And bring the left arm down, right arm on top. Or is it the other way? Yeah, left arm down, right arm on top. Push down, pull back. Forearms to floor, wrap your inner wrist towards the earth. Elbows definitely right under the shoulders. Hands can come closer together if you want. And reach that left leg straight up, come onto the tippy toe of your right foot, and just see if you can lift. Push down with your forearms. Maybe flex your feet to help reach the tailbone long. And breathe into the back of the body. again. Child's pose. Keep it active. Reach those arms along like you're clawing the floor. Wrap your triceps down like you're pulling back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step that 
that left foot up. Keep the legs straight. Just bring it as far as it will go. Lift the right leg. And just see if you can press your hands into the floor and just lift up. Right? Don't kick. Just lift. Bring your feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Forward fold. Hands up to the side. We're circles. Ord Vastasana. Exhale, Samastiki. Come in here. Inhale, Ord Vastasana. Exhale, fold yourself in. Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Chaturanga Dandasana. Exhale. Inhale, Ordva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Three breaths. Notice where your torso is, right? A lot of us tend to round in different areas of the spine in this pose. See if you can find neutrality. Okay. Round the low back. Reach your sits bones towards where the ceiling and wall meet, and then knit them together. If you round the upper back, imagine someone's hand right between your shoulder blades, drawing the chest to the thighs. And if you jut your ribs out, draw them together. Reach that right leg up as far as it will go, left leg to sky, shoulders over the wrists, and just see if you can push into the floor and maybe find a lift. Don't overthink it, it's not a big deal. See what happens. Come to the front of the mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Wrist circles the odd way, coming all the way up, forward Vastasana. Exhale, Samastiki. Okay, two more Surya Namaskar A. Any variations you like. I might jump up with both feet this time. Inhale, lift, exhale, fold. Ardha Uttanasana. Chaturanga Dandasana. Ordva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Heels, exhale, bend the knees. Bring your feet forward. Lengthen the spine, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, dive in, Uttanasana. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Samastiti. Inhale, last one, exhale, fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, Chakaranga Dandasana. Inhale, Ordva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Ardha Mukha Heels, exhale, bend the knees. Bring it forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Reach those arms, forward Vastasana. Exhale, Samastiti. Sink the hips as you bend the knees, Utkatasana. Get the tailbone long. Root into your right foot as you lift your left knee. And guard Asan, crossing that leg over, left arm under right. Breathing here. Nice deep inhale as you exhale. Funky Utkatasana. So externally rotating that left thigh. I'm going to breathe here. Sink back, sink back. Good, nice, deep inhale here. As you exhale, lean way forward. Wrap the left triceps around your right arm. See if you can kick your butt with your right heel. 
Reach that leg back. Step it back. Three-legged dog. Turn that left hip up. Open out to the side. Breathing here. You can stay here. You can come onto the ball of the right foot. Exhale, bring that right heel down. Inhale, lift. You might stay here. You might keep going and finding Kamat and Bringing that left foot behind you. Push your foot and hand into the floor. And see if you can reach that left arm overhead. And as you exhale, take it back around. And step the left foot up. And Virabhadrasana 1. Inhale. Exhaling, reach that right arm forward and maybe find a twist. Leaning back with your left shoulder blade. If you need to pivot your back heel, please do that. Notice if your ribs are lifting up, draw them in. And as you exhale, unwind. Step it out, be very gentle. Into standing split. All the way up to stand. Take a moment. Big toes to touch, inhale, and you've katasana. Root into the left foot, lift the right leg, cross it over, guard asana, and right arm under left. Foot. So you can get so much stretch in your shoulders that you feel it right between the shoulder blades. Funky katasana, and reach those hips back. Maybe come down pretty far so you can bring your ribs to the thighs and scoot your Wrap those toes around that left arm. Plant your palms, reach the chest forward. All right, set up, kick your butt with your left heel. Reach that left heel back, Ekapada Galavasana. And three-legged dog. Open that hip, left heel down, inhale, lift. Exhale, bring the heel down with the toes. Inhale, lift, so you can stay here. Come up, Karasana, if it's interesting. Reaching that right arm up and over. Exhale, take it back around. Inhale, Virabhadrasana one on that right foot. And up. And to squaring hip and chest. Then as you exhale, find your twist. Bring that elbow around. Lean back. Breathe in here. Exhale and wind and very nice and gentle because that foot is uh, rotated out. See if you can find your standing split. Okay. Come out to stand. Shake it out. Lift the hip points up. Inhale. I'm just going to add a back bend into that. Spread those inner shoulders. Open your arms like a cactus. Scoop your belly in, Anubhatasana. Push down with your feet, roll it up, ribs, chest, shoulders. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Utkatasana. Breathe in here. Bring your weight to your right foot, and then lift the left knee, and cross it over with your guard off. Breathe in here. Funky Utkatasana. Maybe keep your arms. And then Ekapada Galavasana. Reaching that leg back. Open up three-legged dog. Come up Karasana if that's interesting. Take it back around. Inhaling. Virabhadrasana one. Left side. Exhaling. Find a twist. Back. Inhale here as you exhale. Standing split. Come up to stand. If you hit distance, shake it out. Take a moment. Inhale, reach those arms, scoop your belly. Exhale. Open the heart. Inhale here, exhale, dive in. Inhale, lengthen the spine, bring the big toes to touch, and exhale into your Utkatasana. Weight into the left foot, lift the right knee. Exhale, and guard asana. Nice deep inhale here. 
exhale, funky ukatasana, sit back. Maybe a kapata galavasana if you want, right? Really extend the strap. Put it back, three legged dog. Turn the toes out. Right arm up and around to the back through center. Exhale, or actually inhale. Three over drops in one. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, find your twist. Parvrita Parsva Konasana. Look down. Stand and split. Go carefully. Come all the way up. Feet hip distance. Breathing in. Reach those arms up. Open the heart, scoop your belly, go straight up to the sky, right? So use your shoulder blades, go straight up. And maybe the front of the body lengthens and you can see behind you. Roll up ribs, chest, shoulders. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, feet come together as you sink the hips, bend the knee. Weight into the right foot, lift the left knee. Tadasana. Funky Ukatasana. Reach those arms forward. Wrap those toes. Ekapada Galavasana. Three legged dog. Open that leg out to the side. You can stay there. If you want to play with the back man, go ahead. Back bends are my nemesis poses. Inhale, the air would also no one. Exhale, into your Parvata Parsva Kanasana. Exhale and stand and split. Stand up. We're getting here. Scoop your belly. Open the heart. Exhale. Dive on in. Inhale, length. Exhale. Feet together. Sink the hips. Bend the knees. Utkatasana. Wait until the left foot. Lift the right knee. Dharadasana. Woo! Wrap it around. Stay connected to that breath so you don't get too wobbly. Funky Ukatasana, maybe reaching forward. Might jump back a little bit so I don't hit my couch. Ekapada Galavasana. Three legged dog, opening up the hip. Matrasana. Take it back around. Inhale. Here we draw some one. On that right side. Twist into our funky, uh, funky ukatasana. And then I think we'll jump back and go awesome straight into a thing else. Anubhatasana. Exhale, dive in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, utkatasana. Inhale, lift the knee. Exhale, Gardasana. Inhale here as you exhale, Funky Ukatasana. Take your right hand to the foot and see if you can fit your tricep into the arc of the foot. Open up, maybe half line. As you exhale, look down. You're going to unwind. 
Make sure you're not going to hit your head. Ekapada Galavasana. Reaching back. Float that left leg back. Chakranga Dandasana. Inhale, Ordva Mukha Shrinasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Shrinasana. This time, turn the left toes out. Step the right foot up. Inhale, Virabhadrasana one. And exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Reverse your warrior. Root into the left foot to reach it out for a teacher tree konasana. Reach that left arm up and then turn it from behind you and sneak that arm between the shoulder blades. Spread that inner shoulder wide. Float your right arm. Pat yourself in the back. Gomukasana arms. Breathing here as you exhale, root into that right foot and step it out. Arnishandrasana. Let go of the fingers. Right arm down, doesn't need to touch. Reach back with your left hand and open up Chapasana variation. If it's interesting, do we hasta Chapasana. Extend the leg, reach the arms. And as you exhale, fold over that leg standing split. It's a big transition for the hip. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Ardha Matsya and Reach that right arm behind you. Left arm reaches to sky. Any arm variation that's interesting for you. Breathing here. Exhale, little counter stretch. And let's take the right hand to the right foot and open that hip out like you're rocking the baby. Maybe swaddle the baby. Maybe draw your left foot to the floor. And bring the left arm behind you, reach that right arm to sky, and then reach that arm across. Nice deep inhale. Notice if you're rounding the back, see if you can get tall. And really reach that right arm across. It's just like when you had your hands on the floor, the forearm down. Yeah. Maybe you can snuggle that foot into your armpit and open up into Yogi Dandasana. Breathing here. Good, as you exhale, come on back to your center. And even if you're a little sweaty, See if you can plant your palms. Grasshopper. Exhale, come on back. Reach that left leg up. I'm going to draw the right heel into my belly button. Ardha Padmasana. Breathe here. Left toes turned out. And I might stay here. I might take Ardha Padmasana. I might find full Padmasana. Breathing here. I'm going to pitch back on my mat a little bit. As you exhale, try to get your uh, pod muscle in pretty tight so you can wrap your triceps around your arm instead of tall. And as I exhale, I'm going to come on forward, scoop your belly in. Walk your hands back in. Try to get those knees pretty solid, feet super flexed. I'm gonna lengthen my tailbone, really trying to extend the spine. Right? I don't want to round here. Set my gaze in something that's not gonna move. And maybe bring the palms. See how long. And then root. My boss. With Padmas in the leg. A little easier that way. You can also do that with um, Baddha Konasana feet. Breathing here. Forearms to floor. If that's interesting. Maybe reach that right leg back. Maybe lift up into any variation of Pincha Mayurasana that you like. Or flying scorpion, or scorpion, right? Whatever you want to play with. Left leg down, step that right foot up, standing split. Come all the way up to stand. Breathing here. Right. That was a lot. I'm going to 
to remember it. Fingers crossed. Scoop your belly, open the heart. Anagatasana. Really keep the feet grounded. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Utkatasana. Wait until the left foot lifts the right knee. Paradise. As you exhale, reach that knee out to the side and you're going to reach across, finding funky katasana with that twist. Maybe find that half spine, really try to lengthen the spine, draw your ribs in. You look up, exhale, unwind. Whoop. Ekapada Galavasana, I'm going to back up so I don't hit my head. Feels like it's right there, even though it's probably not. Reach it back. Jump it back. Chaturanga Dandasana, Ordva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adva Mukha Svanasana. Right toes turn out, step that left foot up. Virabhadrasana one. Virabhadrasana two, exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, Uttita Trikonasana. Reaching way out. Left arm down, right arm to sky. Turn that right hand behind you and see if you can sneak that arm between your shoulder blades for uh, Gomukhasana arms. Make sure your hair is not falling in your mouth. And you pat yourself on the back. You can stay here. You can look down, root into that left foot. Or Shandrasana with Gomukhasana arms. <laughs> this is interesting. You can stay here if you want. And release the arms. Japasana variation. Maybe Dwi Hasta Chapasana. And float it back. As you exhale, you're going to rotate on that hip for standing split. That's a pretty big transition, so move carefully. Exhale, Ardhamatsi and Any variation you like. Reaching that left arm behind you, right arm comes across. Breathing here. Little counter stretch. Might stay here. Oh, I'm gonna take the left hand to the foot and um, open up into rocking the baby maybe swaddle the baby sitting up nice and tall right no roundies and then draw that right foot in so i'm in a number four stretch you can stay here it's plenty of work All right if you're already feeling your hip stretch you're good look at you reach that left arm. those you want to go further reach that left arm up and over find a twist you see if you can get that twist nice and across, try not to round your shoulders. Length. Right. If that foot's in your armpit, reach around for your knee. Reach that right arm out. Yogi Dan's awesome. Breathing here. As you exhale, come back through uh, center. You're going to keep your uh, arm across. Keep your twist. And just see if you can step on your left tricep as you bring your hands down. Grasshopper. Breathing here, bring it back down. And then as you exhale, now I forgot. Uh, what did I do? Remember, but I'm going to reach it back three like a dog. I might bring my forearms down. See if I can reach that left leg to air. And then come on up onto your forearms. And oh, I remember. Come on down. Sorry about that. 
Um, all right. So coming out of your uh, grasshopper, reach that right leg long, so you can reach that left knee out to the side, bring the uh, heel into your belly button, and then stay here, maybe. If you want, you can fold the right knee in. If you want, full Padmasana. Reach the left leg out to the side. Keep closing the right knee joint. Lift it up. Back up on your mat. So you can wrap your triceps around your arms to get in nice and tight. Clasp your hands the other way. Sit up tall. And then as you exhale, come on forward. Scoop your belly in. Sorry about that. There's always something. I'm like, what? Breathe in here. Mm. Walk your hands back in. Really try to snuggle that lotus in pretty tight. And see if you can balance on your knees. Each side's going to be different. Really trying to lengthen the front of the body. See if you can bring your hands together. Set your gaze on something that's not going to move. Hands come down, wrap your elbows back. Mayarasana. Through a vinyasa. Now bring your forearms down. Walk your feet in, see if you can reach that left leg to sky, nice and light. Just pick up, don't kick up. It's more of like a um, float up, right? Push down with your arms and just see. So sweet and easy. All right, try to make it effortless. Any variations you like. Step that left foot up, standing split, coming on up to the top of the mat, taking a moment in your Tadasana, allowing yourself to breathe nice and easy. Maybe drop your shoulders, drop the right ear to the right, just find that stretch for the scalenes, back to center. Go over the right shoulder and just go straight across the chest and take it the other way. Drop the shoulders down, left ear to left. Reach out with that right arm. Use your hand for a little extra tension. Come back to center, look over the left shoulder. Straight through center. Go the other way. Stand up nice and tall. Interlace your fingers. Drop the shoulders down, draw the chin towards your chest. Really keep the spine long or else this stretch isn't worth your time. Come on up through center. Just take five breaths, breathing nice and easy. While I check the time, 48. Breathing in. to the right foot and lift your left knee. Reach that left arm behind you, right arm forward. Dancing Shiva, any variation. You can do bent knee if you like. Right, and reach that left arm up and around. Open out your Tita Asapati Vistasana V. Bring over the right shoulder. Exhale, come forward for A. Lift that leg higher. Keep that leg floating as you reach the arms up nice and strong. And then as I exhale, I'm gonna find my number four, funky Uttasana. Bring that left tricep across, left arm down, right arm to sky, lifting up, leaning back. As I exhale, I'm gonna unwind. I'm gonna bring my foot back a little bit. A Kapata Galavasana. Right, reaching that leg back, and this time I'm gonna take tripod. Draw the shoulders away from your ears a lot. Lift arm up. All right. 
Maybe see if you can fit that left heel as high as you can towards your belly button. It'll probably go into the hip crease. Reach that inner knee away. Turn the right toes out. And see if you can uh, wiggle that ankle in to a full lotus here. Shoulders away from the ears. As you exhale, kukatasana. Fitting those uh, shins onto your triceps. Push down with your hands. And you're gonna lift straight up. Try to straighten your arms. Exhale, take it back down to tricep, uh, tripod. Asta Mukti Shirshasana. Reach those legs up. Shoulders away from the ears a lot. And as you exhale, find your core work. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Just let the toes hover. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Ordha Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Left toes turn out, step that right foot up. Virabhajasana one. Open up, Virabhajasana two. Reverse wood. Utita Tree Pranasana. Left arm reaches up, see if you can sneak that arm between the shoulder blades. Roll that left shoulder down and away. Tie yourself in the back of the right hand. Float it up. Ardha Chandrasana with Gomukhasana arms. Stay here. Maybe reach the right arm down, left arm back. for Chapasana variation. Kicking that foot into the hand. Dwi Hasta Chapasana. Reach the left leg back. As you exhale. Standing split, move carefully. Snuggle that left knee behind the right, coming down. Right arm behind you, any variation with your left hand. that left arm behind you, little counter stretch. Bring that uh, left foot into a number four. And once again, if you want to play, you can stay here. Right arm reaches up, reach it across. Now I see if you can get that foot into the armpit and reach it up. Grab the outer knee. You can also take your hands around for a bind. Some people find that easier. Yogi Dandasana. And stay here. As you exhale, come on back. Keep your twist. Try to keep that arm way up into your armpit. Grasshopper, reach the leg back for a staff lizard, and then drop back in. So left, he uh, right heel is going to be towards your left belly button, Rani Kanada, and see if you can take the right foot into lotus. Some of you can do that without your hands, fantastic. Switch back. And draw those knees in. Sit up top. Nice deep inhale here. As I exhale, come forward. Lotus in pretty tight, flex your feet. If you use your feet, use your 
core, find that lift, find the bandhas, lift the perineal floor, draw your belly button back. that right leg to the sky. Pick up breathing here. Any variation you like. And maybe touch your face through your right hand. Bring it down. We played with that one a long time. Step it up. Standing split on that right leg. Come on up. Shake it out. Shake it out. Face beams bounce. your twist. Right arm down, left arm up. I'm going to breathe here. As you exhale, unwind. Take a pot of Galavasana. Bring the forehead, uh, top of the head down. Lifting up into your tripod. Right, breathing here. You can bring that knee in, reach the right knee away, fold the left knee, find a tripod variation. And then as you exhale, really try to get that tripod in pretty close. Right. Oh, that's way better. Push those knees to the sky, and then as you exhale, scoop your belly, find that Kukutasana variation. Get those shins on your triceps, uh, triceps. Push straight down to lift up. Try to straighten the arms. Try to see if you can hug your triceps with your toes. Exhale. Bring it back down. Tripod. Couple sit-ups. Scoop your belly. Hover the toes. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hover. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hover. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Ordva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Right toes turn out, step that left foot up. Inhaling, Virabhadrasana 1. Exhaling, Virabhadrasana 2. Reverse warrior. Reach it out, Utita Trikonasana. Sneak that right arm up between the shoulder blades. Left arm reaches around, reach your left tricep forward. As you exhale, root into that left foot and float it up. Ardha Chandrasana. Chapasana variation. Make sure you don't have any shadows. Maybe do we have such a person? We extend, and as you exhale, standing split. Breathing here. Snuggle that right knee behind the left. Ardha Matsyandrasana, any variation that you like. A lot of you might be feeling warmed up for a bind. I actually don't like the bind in this pose most of the time. Makes my shoulders unhappy. 
Go over the right shoulder. Over the left shoulder, a little counter stretch. And find that number four. Breathing here. Reach that left arm to sky. I'm going to reach way across. Get that foot into my armpit. And reach around. Right arm's reaching over that knee, gazes to sky. You can stay here. You can find a bind here if you want. Some people like that better. It's easier for people. I don't know. All right, try to keep your foot where it is. As you come back and go into your grasshopper and then see, maybe hopefully your triceps not too sweaty, see if you can reach the foot back, up, then get on that side into a Tanakrasasana variation. Coming back out through center. So as you come out of this, your heel is going to be pretty close to your belly button. See if you can draw it in. Breathe in here. And bring that right heel on top. Get to clasp your hands the other way. Exhale, come on forward. Keep the belly lifting in and up. Come on back through center. Remember if I did forearm stand up or I just I think I just stepped it up. Okay. Oh no, forearm stand. Bring the forearms down. I'm gonna float that left leg to the sky. Just see if you can just pick up nice and easy. Right? Any leg variations you'd like. Maybe scorpion. And see if you can. Bring that hand up. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, left foot steps up, standing split. Coming all the way up to stand, shake it out. Do some shoulder circles. Keep the shoulders down. Drop your chin through your chest. And take a moment in your Tadasana. Just breathing nice and easy. Breathing here. I'm going to bounce out the um, inner organs with a little bit of Nowly. Uh, you probably won't be able to see it too much in this outfit, but I'm going to come to like a wide stance, kind of like a catcher stance. So what it means is uh, lengthening your tailbone and pulling your belly button into your spine a lot and really like churning. So you're using your muscles to churn. I'm going to take a couple of preparatory breaths. And then as I exhale, I'm going to find my bandhas. Uh, lift the perineal floor, pull your belly button in, draw your chin in. And when you need to inhale, inhale. Come on out. Come on up, take a break. And then we're just going to add some hip circles to that. So if you want to practice the hip circle first, and reach your right hip forward, right? And to the side. And do it like that. A couple of preparatory breaths. Please breathe. Don't forget that. Coming up to 
extend, but now you stand with your breath out. Okay. Left hip starts. This is my harder side. Reach your left arm up, turn your thumb down, sneak that arm up the back of the body. Reach your right arm out and up. Bring the weight into your left foot and as you exhale, fear of Adrasana free. Inhaling here and then as you exhale, no hands. Come on down. Go Mukhasana. Left knee over the right. Right, breathing here. Feet nice and flexed. And stay here. Those of you who like to fold forward, feel free to do that. I don't find much benefit to it personally. Unwind. Give yourself a shimmy. Swallow the baby, sitting up nice and tall. Reach that left leg back, take that knee over the elbow, or over the shoulder rather, and Surya and Trasa. Reaching up. As I exhale, Ekapada Kaunanyasan, and reach back. Three legged dog, make sure you're on your mat. As I exhale, I'm going to step that left foot up. Bring the right knee down and reach those toes away. Reach those arms to the sky. Just see if you can find a little bit of a back bend here. Push those fingers towards the floor. And as I exhale, I'm going to roll out Ardha Hanumanasana. Breathing here. I'm going to bring that. Um, left foot down, take my hand to the inside and just turn the right shin out and then see if I can get my left shoulder underneath the left hand. Plant my left palm to the earth, lean back into that left leg. Vishwam Matrasana prep. Exhale. Standing split in that left leg. Reach your arms out, you can reach your right arm down, sneak that arm up the body, pat yourself on the back with your left hand. Inhale, as you exhale. Oh. Sorry. Virabhadrasana three, standing on that right leg. Nice deep inhale here, and as you exhale, snuggle that knee behind, no hands. As you come down, just use your breath into that Gomukhasana. Sitting up tall. In here. Back the heads in line with the sacrum, try not to jump forward. One more breath. Exhale, come on out. See if you can. Swallow the baby, you can stay here. Maybe you like to make it an open, or just rock the baby. Maybe you like Surya and Tross, and I'm going to fit that knee over the shoulder. Right. Extending the leg, lengthening the spine, leaning back with the left shoulder blade. Exhale. Ekapada Kaunanyasana. Plant your palms. Reach it through. Three like a dog. Try to come on your mat if you're not there. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. I'm going to step that right foot up and bring the left knee down, reach the toes away. 
we are not. Open the heart and your mouth. Open the elbows out to the side, fingertips down. And then roll over that front leg, draw back, Ardha Hanumanasana. Breathing here. Bring that foot down and take your hands to the inside and then drop your right shoulder underneath the knee, plant your right hand, kickstand the left shin, and open up. Vishwa Matrasana Prep. Look underneath your left arm. Come on out. Stand and split. Come on out to stand. Last standing series. And do full Vishwa Matrasana, or at least try for it. Some days my body likes that pose, and lots of days it doesn't. Left arm down. Right arm up. Weight into the left foot. Exhale, Virabhadrasana three. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Snuggle that right knee behind the left. No hands. Coming down, go to Kasana. Back of the head's in line with the sacrum. Inhale here. As you exhale, swaddle the baby or rock the baby. Suryantrasana. Right? Really reach that knee way back and then up and over. Try not to sickle your left foot as you lean back with your right shoulder blade. Exhale. Take it through Ekapada Kandanyasana if you need to reset your knee. Please do that. Left leg's gonna reach back, make sure you're on your mat. And as you exhale, step that foot up. Bring that right knee down. Breathe here, scoop your belly. Lift your arms, Anjaneyasana, any variation. Exhale, Ardha Hanumanasana. Breathing here. I'm gonna bring that left foot down, tuck the right toes, heel to arch alignment as I fit that left shoulder underneath the knee, plant the palm. Now lean back into my left arm and reach that left heel away. Vishwam Matrasana. Bring that foot down. Standing split. Coming all the way up. Other side's my hard side. Arms out, right thumb down. Sneak that arm up the back above. Left arm, pat yourself in the back. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Fear of adjusting the three. Standing on your right foot. Snuggle that left knee behind the right. No hands. Very gentle, come down. Go across and full pose. Breathing here, keep your feet flexed. Exhale, swaddle the baby, right? So it's a nice external rotation with that right knee. Breathing here. Suryantrasana. Reaching that right heel to sky, lean back. As you exhale, plant that hand down, plant your palms. Ekapada Kandinyasana. So try to bring that heel right through the arms and then reach it back. Lifting up, make sure you're on your mat. Exhale, step that right foot up, bring the left knee down. Reach the toes away. Take your hand to your thigh, breathe into the back of the body. Reaching up, scoop your belly. Really reach those arms. Anjaneyasana, interlacing the fingers. Exhale. Ardha Shandrasana. Uh, uh, sorry, Ardha Hanumanasana. Here's your exhale. Bring that right foot down. Heel to arch alignment. So Virabhadrasana to two feet. Make a letter C, connect it to your calf and drop that right shoulder down. Plant your right palm 
and lean in. So the uh, my right knee is pretty high up on the tricep. And as I reach that heel away, I'm gonna lean back, maybe check out the star. Exhale, bring that foot down. Standing split. Coming all the way up, shake it out. Breathing here. So the arms, scoop your belly, last on at the top, so open heart, roll it up, ribs, chest, shoulders, exhale, dive in, inhale, lengthen, chaturanga dandasana, inhale, ordva mukha svanasana, exhale, padha mukha svanasana. I'm gonna lift the heels. I'm just gonna bring the feet through the arms. Keep pushing the floor away. Pull your knees to your chest. Nice and light. Navasana. Nice long spine. Ardha Navasana. Breathing here. Keep scooping the belly. Reach out through your big toe and reach the pinky toes back so you're not sickling. Five breaths. Draw your knees to your chest and bring the ankles right underneath the knees. Breathing here. Wrap your, uh, clasp your hands underneath, roll one shoulder and then in the other, keep the chin lifted. Bridge pose, set to Bandha Shravangasana. Exhale, roll it out, one vertebrae at a time. Set to Bandha Shravangasana again, interlacing your fingers the other way, other shoulder under first. Exhale, roll it out, one vertebrae at a time. Those of you who want more back bends, you can take them. I can't decide, so I'm going to decide no. Pretty, I've done a lot today. I'll probably regret that in a minute, though. And drop your knees to the right and then to the left. If you're still working on back bends, please do them. A couple more. And then find a twist of your choice. Maybe right knee over left, hips right, knees left. Square your chest to sky. Just neutralizing the spine. Come on back to center. And take it the other way. Hips left, knees right. back to center. A couple low back circles, one or two each direction. When you're ready in your own time, set yourself up for your final relaxation, whatever that means for you. Let the breath go. Let the practice go.
you are in your breath cycle, begin to bring some awareness back to the breath, drawing a nice deep inhale in, exhale through the mouth. Start to move the fingers and toes and do some wrist and ankle circles. Reach out through the arms and legs. Exhale, draw the knees to the chest. Maybe pick a side of the body to roll on to for a breath or two. When you're ready in your own time, make your way up to a nice, comfortable seated position. Sitting up nice and tall. Sit on a blanket if you like. I don't actually have any props out today. Elbows underneath the shoulders. Just take a few minutes to be still. Highly recommend going into meditation right now. If you haven't had your meditation yet today. I'm going to end in um, three ohms if you're interested. Nice deep inhale in. Oh. to heart center. Give yourself so much gratitude for taking time to balance today. Uh, finding different ways to find your balance and not being too concerned if you fell out or, you know, it's all good. Thumbs to third eye. It's all just practice. And hopefully having a little fun in all these different shapes our life takes. I thought of you. Namaste, everybody. Thanks for playing. Mm -hmm.